So today's tutorial is just a quick look at an often forgotten about HTML tag or element, and that is the code element. So say you're having some uh, code on your site, so you may have a technical blog or something similar, and you wanted to put some uh, code onto your site just to demonstrate something that you've maybe learned. Uh, you may be tempted to use something like a p tag or even just a div or a span or something. And as you can see, we get this output on the right hand side, which is perfectly readable. But if we want to make sure that the browser knows that it's code uh, for whatever reason, just to indicate how the browser should use it and represent it, then we can use the code tag instead. So if we just replace the uh, p tag here uh, with code, you can see that the browser uses a different font to indicate to the user that it is code. And of course, that will have all of the implications of representing to search engines and various different spiders on the site uh, that this uh, block of text is actually some code. So it will obviously help with any SEO targets that you're aiming for uh, with your particular site. And of course, we can add some styling to that as well. So if we go over to our SCSS here and just enable some styles, uh, we can style that actual uh, code block any way we want. So there you go, there's the HTML code element. Uh, so if you haven't used it before, maybe it's something you can start using within your sites and apps. Uh, and if you have heard of it before, but you've just forgotten about it, then hopefully that's just a gentle reminder uh, that it's still there and you can use it to uh, format your code uh, and represent that within your browser. But that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.